This episode of The Direction is brought to you by Georgia 811, keeping Georgia safe and connected. Yeah, I'm gonna start easing down. Easing down, Easing huh? down. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing easy about this. <laughs> you can see my nervousness. This is what we came here for. It's a different kind of fishing than being in the bass boat. I like it though. Oh, look at this spot. I guess I gotta learn to trust the kayak a little more. <laughs> Everyone has a story. Sometimes it's about catching monster bass. Now that's a studly mudly baby. And sometimes it's about life's lessons. Every story is as unique as the person who tells it. So join us as we make some new friends, reunite with some old ones, catch a few fish, and share a story or two. I'm Mark Stowe, and this is The Direction. Fishing for some is more than a hobby. It can be an escape from the outside world and the troubles that surround it. For some, the rivers and the fish that live there can be said to save someone's life. Clint Henderson is just that person. After the tragic loss of his brother, Clint turned to a kayak and a connection with the outdoors for that healing. In that kayak, he found himself winning checks and trophies, but he also found a much higher calling and purpose. Mark is headed to jump into Clint's world of kayak fishing, and to say it's a new experience for him is an understatement. All right, Clint. So here's the deal. I've got to I got to change my thought process because I normally have 25 rods in the boat, all my tackle shoved in 35 tackle trays, and granted, I can't carry 25 rods and 35 tackle trays. So I'm going to have you do a little coaching because you, as a kayak fisherman, you have some thought process that really has to go into the day before you get there. Yes, there's a lot of planning that goes into it uh, as far as rod and reel selection and tackle selection and figuring out launches and logistics of launching like we're doing. We're doing floats, so we've got to stage a vehicle at one end and have another vehicle to launch at the other end. So we're going to strip you down a little bit, but I still, you've got plenty of room. We're going, you're going to be able to take everything you need. Take it slow the first time. It can be kind of awkward. Oh, now, now wait, now the, now the <laughs> details of, oh my, are coming into this gig. <laughs> uh, now, you explained to me that I wasn't going to turn over, not, that I was. Not. I mean, it's possible. It's always possible. All right. You can flip any of It's like the Titanic. They're all sinkable. <laughs> so would you throw a spinnerbait or would you throw the jackhammer? I kind of favor a jackhammer this time of year. Okay. You made that real difficult because I've, I see that big plaque you have, and I see the one in my boat. There ain't one. <laughs> what kind of shad are in the river? I mean, is it, are they? Uh, there's gizzards, and uh, see if there's any thread spin in there or not. Right, I'll use that gizzard thread then. Definitely gizzards, large oh, ones. Man, them things stink. Them booty shakers, that, that whatever scent they put in there, that is isn't. It squid or something like that? Oh my goodness, things. but here, just rub on that and smell it once. Phew. So I went from the bass boat to the kayak box. And now they explained to me I got to turn around and reach back to get my tackle. And I've been told, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what that implies. <laughs> hey, you don't get no better than this. Look at this. The guy's loading my kayak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch some fish now. There's three. Man, these things are light. <laughs> oh, yeah. This How's that seat feel deep? Oh, it's comfortable. Does it need leaned up or anything? No. You ready to go now? Start kicking it. Start kicking it, Steve. You're on the bottom right there. Oh, I see. Kind of keep them, yeah, flutter. Keep them up tight. Keep them up against the. Easy peasy. You ready to catch fish out of it? <laughs> I was. My goodness, this is relaxing. 
comfortable. Hey, see if, see if you can make some headway upstream right there. Woo, this is gonna be a different beast in this running water. <laughs> Feel good? Oh yeah, I mean, I got, it'll take me a little while. We got a we got a good calm section right here before we get to anything. Hey, you didn't tell me it was deep enough for my bass boat. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you that. Then you wouldn't have got the kayak. <laughs> this segment was brought to you by Jinko Fishing. It's all about the action. Yeah, I'm gonna start using that. Easing down, Easing huh? down. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing easy about this. <laughs> you can see my nervousness. <laughs> Look over there, he done catching them. Yeah, go with that. Clint over there making me look bad. Look at you, he done put a fish in the boat. Woo! That is what we came for. This is what we came here for. That's a nice, it's already spawned out. It should be a lot fatter. That's a 19 inch Coosa River spotted bass. So what we do in our kayak tournaments, everybody's got the measuring board and I don't have my identifier right now, but this fish this fish wouldn't help me in my online term right now. It, it, it would be a coil. But I lay him on there, shut his mouth against the end. He lays there all nice and sweet. And I take his picture with my identifier, take his picture on the board, and then we turn him right back where we caught him at. There you go. I'm gonna get another one of them. That's fun. He jacked me up. He had me all under the boat. <laughs> I thought I was hung at first. I told him I was gonna come down here and take score, so. Huh? Do you hear me holler back here? Yeah, I heard you talk to one. I got a 19 inch. Oh my. Got a good one. How many original lures you got on? No, uh, I think three. Three? Yeah. You I keep, lost three? Oh yeah, I keep What in the world? Well, I can't keep them. <laughs> this ain't, this, yeah, I ready? can't cast. Oh, you can't? No, it gets on my right hand and then I can't, I can't cast. Yeah, I'll get one right here, good one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's a good move. Oh, he's got a buddy with him, too. There we go. I forget I got the GoPro. 19, 18, three quarters. Got over in that current right there, and look at that, boy, oh boy. I'm really getting the hang of this now, one spot. Woo-hoo! I just gotta sit still a little bit. Get myself right in here on this tree. I'm gonna park. I guess I gotta learn to trust the kayak a little more. <laughs> You told me a pretty unique story about your brother and you and how you got actually into kayak fishing. Had a bass boat and fish mm -hmm. tournaments and we're into all that side of it. And I kind of got out of the bass boat world out of necessity because uh, I got really bad. You know, I told you about my brother and his brain tumor in 09 and uh, I got really bad drinking after that, after he was diagnosed with that thing. And uh, it just hit me really hard. And, that's the only way I knew to attempt to cope with it was to drink. I got to where I drank every day. And like I said, I bought my first one in 2013. Took my last drink of alcohol in 2012. And uh, December this year, I'll be eight years sober. And I just, I can't, uh, we, couldn't fit the, we couldn't fit all the blessings in my life in this show. <laughs> it's just how good it is now. And, you know, I started a little Fishers of Men group and uh, 
just a lot of good things that have came my way because of these little plastic boats. You know. <laughs> so you and him kayak or fished out of the canoe and kayak together quite a bit? Yes, we did a bunch. A and bunch. he actually passed away of a brain tumor. He did, yeah. He. Uh, and how old was he? He was 47, I believe, when he passed away. 47. Wow. 2016. Uh, Same age as me. Yeah, we like. Uh, way too, way too soon. I miss him. Miss him tremendously. I love it, man. I fell in love with it from the get-go. Like I said, I, I, you know, the time I started, it, I didn't have a connection with God at the time. You know, I've been drinking so much. My brain was so messed up from that 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 relationship was shot. You know, I thought he hated me, but uh, now I've got this connection to him, and it came through this. A, gr a great deal of it was through this right here, and the people I've met through it that helped me through all that all those tough times. I've met some great people doing this. You wouldn't get caught out on the lake without your favorite bait. So why would you get caught digging without calling 811? Are you getting ready to start your own digging project? Be sure to call 811 and get your underground utilities located. It's the law and it's free. Here, try this. This segment is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. So every day with Clint has been an adventure and now he's over here trying to tell me that we're going to have to maneuver what today? Yeah, we got to uh, snake our way through some rocks. You'll like No, it, no, you said rapids. No, no, no rock. rapids around rocks. <laughs> no, no worse than anything you've seen, I promise. Got to hit this current going. We're starting the day off a little quicker today, baby. Come around there, oh, come on. Gotta hit the reverse in the kayak. Oh, there's a way to start the day right there. Love it. Difficulty of these kayaks is you're drifting, you gotta kinda learn to drift, cast a bunch of different angles, and move all around. It's a different kind of fishing than being in the bass boat. I like it though. Oh, mine's littler than yours, Kate. Oh man! <laughs> you got a big one. How about that? Father and my son sitting Dude, out there you in the kayak. Ow. Just catching fish. That's what it's all about right there. There he is. Ain't no baby either, is it? That ain't no baby fish. Oh, we're gonna have a little fun. Over the head, by the back. Like this. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that's good. Oh. What a sight right there, look at that. Ah, I think that first one was a little better now. They both good fish. Oh yeah, baby. Give that tube back. Look at that. Uh, oh, son, that one's mad. He, he, he gave me a little fight there. He didn't like me smack him in the face. Hey, Clint, no, no, we don't want to see no panic. Man. Oh, look at this spot. <laughs> <sighs> look at there, Mark. That's a spotted bass. Spotopotamus, that's what they come up here for. So you got to actually measure him in. Yeah, I can use this one. I got to get my identifier and everything. I want, I want one over 20 for that online I got going. He can actually fish his online tournament while we're filming. And that's pretty darn cool. Hey, 
19 and a half, so I can get him close to that. Cheese. There you go. been kayaking downstream and now we've come up here to this island and we're gonna there's an eddy right here that Clint says he catch a lot of fish out of so we're gonna get out of the kayaks and actually do a little wading. You know one thing about it Clint we've, we've been floating in the kayaks and now we're out here wading and just enjoying the outdoors. I, I mean, love it. Just right, right here too. that sound and there you go. There you Got it? Just had to get him woke up a little bit. I had to tight line it down that, uh, he come all the way over here. Did it? Yeah, boy, he's a fight. Look at that. It's a deep ditch. Right oh, there. look at this. Is that good? Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at Slob. That. Can't even hardly jump. Look at him. Look at him fighting that current right there. Slob. Look at him just fighting that current. Okay, get aboard. Let's see how long it's in this. Look at this. I mean, I can't even budge this fish in this current. <laughs> he just bullied me. I mean, look at him. They mean now. I mean, I can't do nothing with him. I mean, <laughs> look at him. I got him right there in front of the other camera. And now look at him. Now he's got himself down low. Pretty idiot. In that current. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's land him. Let's see how long he is. Man, this Give me a lift. You're going to get him. I'm bringing him to you. Break the line. Shake it off. Yeah. Look at that. Here you go. <laughs> right there. Look at that beautiful spot right there. <laughs> That's My what friend, we're this there is what it's all about right here. <laughs> Sharing a good time, having fun. Let's see how long he is. Let's see if Mark if Mark outdid me on this one. No, because right. I'm, I'm not in the kayak. So. I just want to see. I know I got 19 and a quarter today. Yeah, yeah, you got a solid 18. Yep. An 18? He's 18 all day long. All right. I just want one big. Sweet. Look how pretty that thing is. Watch him go. On them spots. Watch him. Look at I've him. had him come lay by my foot before. Look, look at him hold himself in that current, guys. Crazy. Look at that. Look how he can hold himself in that current. That's why it's a dang strong. That's that is just unbelievable right there. That's what it's about right there. Clint. Man, what a trip. <laughs> this segment is brought to you by Denali Rods. Tournament tested, tournament tough. Good? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Look at that. He ain't big that other. No, he ain't. Look at him racing down through there. He's gonna come. He's gonna <laughs> swim all around you. He's gonna put on a stunt show for you. <laughs> Whoa. Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week brought to you by 811. Always remember to call before you dig. Our 811 moment of the week is not just a moment of this week, but truly all the moments that Clint Henderson has shared about his life. From overcoming alcoholism and his brother's death, he has taken the highs and lows that life has dealt him and made the best of them. His faith, family, and experiences make him a role model to look up to on the tournament stage and in life itself. Did a little fishing here off the island. We stopped, got out, did a little wading. Caught a few fish. I think we're gonna jump back in the kites and head downstream.
takes a little work sometimes getting in one the right way, but. I, I broke so much line off the reel that now I can see the bottom of it. I'm gonna start having to vertical jig my tube. <laughs> Meathead. He's a tater. Little tater. Said just a little tater. You know, getting the fish behind a guy with your kayak and skills, and, and I even caught a few fish. I'm feeling pretty privileged about this trip. And, caught a couple good fish. Uh, Real good fish. But, you know, I just, on a for real note, just want to say thanks for having us down there. Thanks for rounding up all these uh, Hobie kayaks right here and uh, bringing us down to the Etowa River, jumping around a bunch of different places to make the fish catching happen. And, you know, we've had a great few days spending time with you and your boys um, on the water. I'm glad you gave in and said, yeah, let's try doing a <laughs> kayak show. We'll try it, because it wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, because the real of the story is, is that when Clint said, let, uh, when I called Clint, I said, well, come on, Clint, we'll take my boat and go fishing. Well, he conned me into going into the kayak. And I hate <laughs> to tell you this, but I'm glad you did because I've really enjoyed it. Good. Well, you know where to get them at. The dugout bait and tackle. <laughs> they hook you up. <laughs> the direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below. Call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.